All right, in this video, we are going to remove our AWS integration completely. And the reason we are currently using AWS was that initially I used AWS for storing avatar images. But then during development, they released Upload Thing, and Upload Thing is a way more convenient uh, tool for having user uploads. So, in order to streamline a little bit and uh, make things better, uh, we are going to convert to be using Upload Thing exclusively on the game. So, first of all, let's open the AWS file that we have. So, that's this one inside Lips. And here we have this method copy image to storage, which is basically uploading an image to an S3 bucket. And if we search for it here, we get all the places that we are using this method. And basically, I want to get completely rid of it. So, first thing we can do is just delete that file. So now we break everything. And then next, we have to fix up all the places where it's being used. <clears throat> so I think a good idea to start is would probably be to just implement a small method here for uh, uploading a file with upload thing. And I think we can do that quite easily. So it would be something like upload file from URL to upload thing. So we can, oh, we should have a duck string for this one as well. Create an image from a text. Um, text. Okay, so let's make a new method here. Export const and what do we call it? Upload to beauty, upload to you, upload thing. Yeah. And basically, it will just take a URL because when we do these text to image things and stuff, we have a URL for the image on replicate, but that only lasts for a, a few minutes or so. So, what we're doing is basically taking that image URL and putting it into upload thing for persisting it. Let's see what Copilot does. It got the first one right. We need to initialize the upload thing API. But from there on, it's wrong. So, upload i have the documentation open here on the side so you can do like this supposedly and then you do no this needs to be awaited of that makes sense uh, upload files from url there's a method they have and basically i think this uploads the file so that's if that's true it's really easy and i think from this uploaded file Let's see if this is true. Uploaded file URL. Here we then get the URL on upload thing. And basically that's what we want, want to return. So I think this small utility function is going to get us pretty far in terms of what we want to be doing. <clears throat> okay, so let's go through here. So now we have this. That one we don't need to look at. This one we don't need to look at. Uh, this one, a little bit. Of, I, I think we can do this better um, because here we're using this raw REST call to replicate. Let's just fix up a few things along the way here, just uh, just because we can. Eek. Is it here? So we have this one. So I think it's better if we use the replicate library to get the result. And then we can just do something like get the prediction. Uh, X, let's look, uh, I'm just looking at the documentation. Yes, that looks right. So this should get us the prediction from replicate. Um, and then we, I guess we just return that. I think we should extract the, the replicate URL here as well, because that's the one we want to insert into upload thing. 
Yeah, so it's probably good we do this now, I think. Uh, so we we get this because how that output is shaped depends on the model. And I think for this one it is something I don't think it knows that it has to be casted like this. So we will have to do something crazy like this, I think. So basically, I think what I'm doing here is this output, I'm pretty sure that's marked as an any, because depending on what model you call on replicate, it could be any kind of output. And I know for this model, the output is a list of strings. So I cast it and then I take the first one because I know we're always only predicting one image. And that is the URL I want to get out. So here we get a string or undefined. And from this method, then we return both the prediction and that URL on replicate. Mm, why is it giving me a prediction does not, I think it's just slow. That is what it is these days. <clears throat> so now we have to, oh, it's also getting a little bit in, entangled because we're doing several things at once. That's, that's a little bit dumb that I started up that much at once, but maybe we'll figure it out. Let's see, check avatar here. Yeah, let's just, we do this. Let's fix up all usages of this method we just updated. Let's do that first. So now they always return these two instead. So here we get these back and instead of result now, it will be a prediction. And prediction still has the status, so that's fine. But I think yeah, here we are extracting this output and that's just to get the URL. So we can just use that URL because we have passed it within this method now. So this should work out, I think. And the other one, the same, we're gonna have to destructure those two. All the results we replace with prediction. And I guess we have our, so here we are doing the replicate URL. We've already done that. And luckily we call it the same. I don't know, we, this output we're not using for anything, right? So remove that. Uh, I guess that's it. So now we updated both those. And then the next one was this copy image to local storage, the AVS call. We also had to update that both places. And here I imagine we can just use that utility we just wrote. So instead of upload to blah, blah, blah. We just need to call this one with the replicate URL, which will then upload it to upload thing and give us back the URL for upload thing. So we need to do the same in this one. And here we will need to import it from the replicate library. Uh, and then this one, and we just, it only needs the URL. Everything is super slow right now, but I think we actually did what we were supposed to do. Maybe I just need to restart TypeScript. I think I need to reboot my computer. I'm still complaining. Yes, lint probably has to be rebooted. Otherwise, we can also just try it out over here. Uh, so we have changed two things now. We have changed how we update images on, on content and how 
avatars are uploaded. So let's go to quests and see if we can change an image of a quest. The first one. And then we basically push the AI button to generate a new one. Well, I guess I should make the, everything a little bigger. And we go to console and let's try running this. So it's not given an error yet. Like why is it not getting this prediction does not exist? Ah, I forgot to remove this return type because that won't fit anymore. And this should, yeah, that clears up all these. Uh, why doesn't it like this? Is it stringer undefined is not assigned? So we can do, if this does not exist, we give it a null instead of an undefined because it just means it doesn't exist anyway. So that should clear this one out. And did it update the image? Not yet. Mm, this is still not happy. I will restart TypeScript A again. Seems like when I'm recording, everything is always much slower. Okay, let's try, make a new image, see if it works. Upload thing, return to promise. This is string or null. Ah, I'm uh, the. It's this one. That has to be null if it does not exist. And that should fix this one. Right? Because now this should be a promise of string or null. Yeah, at least I got rid of that error. Um, let's see, what did we change this far? Mm -hmm. That updated the image that took a really long time. But maybe it's just because the replicate servers are slow right now. Good. Let's just try once more. Let's see. See when it's getting back. So it's telling me it managed to get a new. What is going on? Uh, I am thinking this is a completely different error. It's getting a new image, but it's the same image. So this could indicate, yes, that is probably getting the same seed value for the text to image. So this one has to be a random value when it is not set. Uh, I think we have somewhere we see here when we create concept art, 
it gets the seed value from this one and this we are not doing all the way in here so basically because content we're not setting a seed for the image here so it's getting zero every time and basically just making the same image so now we have a seed a random seed value and if i create make a new one i imagine this time it will actually make a new one for us but let's see doing something I really hope it gives a new image now, otherwise I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, new image, all is good. Perfect. So I think this is a, a good update of the code base. We're getting rid of this AWS thing. And just to make it finish up, we will also remove this package that we have in the bundle. So to make pnpm remove that one. I guess we need to confirm that we can also get new avatars still, that we did that properly. Uh, I guess you have to click this one. And now it's thinking a lot because I'm removing a package and it has to recompile and whatnot. Go on with that package. I'm really happy about that. Seems like a small thing, but it was really painful to implement this AVS stuff. All right, let's just confirm that I can also get new avatars. So it seems like it's at least firing off the request. I think we have to do something about uh, this checking as well, maybe because it can call a web hook with this replicate library and that uh, would probably make it even possible to make a better user experience. You can also pull the status so you could get a loading bar or something like that. I think we need to look into that, but not today. And I can see there's an error here where it's calling way too many times. This is something we need to fix. But it seems to have made the image. Not good that it calls that much. There is something on the front end uh, I have messed up. But let's keep this PR just to this step. So we managed to remove AVS and that's a big win. Um, and then we found a new bug, but that is what it is. So remove, remove AVS in favor of upload thing i've been looking so much forward to doing this push so that's it should be live in a few minutes thank you guys for watching and see you next time